After eight long months, we're proud to say, welcome to the Quail House. We completely remodeled this house from top to bottom. We brought it all the way back to the studs and the biggest improvements on the outside was putting new siding and changing what used to be blue to black. So when you first come up to the house, you have this big beautiful deck that we built and on the deck, we decided to include these chairs so you have a nice place outside to relax, enjoy your coffee in the morning. Another thing that we have outside is our fire pit. So we have four chairs over there and you can enjoy a nice cozy fire on a cold night. This is the first room you walk into at the Quell House. So when you come in, you're greeted with these very tall ceilings and we went with a natural color palette and a bunch of natural materials to make the space feel bigger and flow better with the rest of the property. We went with a gray couch and we tried to get a very long couch because this is the only sitting area in the living room. And with that, we picked this um, mid-century modern table that we found at an antique store and an antique rug that we ordered offline. When we were designing this space, we wanted to make sure to have somewhere that people could work. So we decided to make this little desk nook and we used a natural slab of wood here and we cut it to size to fit perfectly in this area. We also used a cork board and this is where we put our welcome letters for our guests. We got a couple books here, we got some business cards, a coaster, and just a simple chair. So the next part of our living room is our TV area. So we have this big 58 inch TV and it is a smart TV so you can watch pretty much anything on it. We have this natural wood slab um, TV stand that we made and then underneath that we have these wire baskets that we filled with games that we picked and it's games that we enjoy to play ourselves and so we hope that our guests will too. And then one of my favorite things in the house this is the quail house, and so we found these quails at an antique store, and these were actually made the same year that the house was made. So I just love that little touch. So over here is our staircase that leads to our loft, and we built these stairs ourselves, and we had to do something that was space saving because this is a A-frame, and so these look a little scary, but they work just like a regular staircase. And then up here, we actually designed this railing ourselves and we installed everything we painted it and I think it really ties the space together so when you walk through the living room you come into the hallway where we have a laundry room and bathroom so on the right side the bathroom and we went with this black and white star tile in the shower with an all black nook and black grout which I think it turned out really great we also installed the shower door because um, since it's a corner shower, we wanted to make sure no water gets outside onto our floors. On this side of the bathroom, we have a sink and the mirror. We specifically ordered this mirror to match the pitch of the roof, so I think it fits perfectly. We went with black hardware on the door and on the faucet and decided to go with silver on the drawer handles to match our shower door. So the next room in the hallway is our laundry room. So the first thing is our barn door. We built these ourselves out of one by fours and one by sixes, and we got the hardware and installed them ourselves in this perfect door for a laundry room. So come in here, and it's a really simple setup. We just have our washer, our dryer, our laundry detergent, and we also store our cleaning supplies like a broom, mop, and vacuum. At the end of the hallway is our kitchen and dining room. Our dining room space isn't very big, but it's perfect for two people, or it can fit up to four. So we ordered a mid-century table that matches our coffee table in the living room. And we also got a vintage rug that we ordered online that matches the living room perfectly. On um, this side of the room is our kitchen. So we have a full-size stove. And over here we have a Keurig and we supply coffee and hot chocolate for all of our guests. Then we have a sink with the nice black hardware that kind of matches the whole house. And we have the black backsplash that we put up that matches the black nook in the bathroom. And then over here, we do have a toaster and a microwave for all of our guests. And underneath the cabinets, we store dishes, pots and pans, anything that you would need to cook. And then over here, we have a full-size refrigerator and we store ice and water for our guests. 
At the back of the kitchen, there's a big glass door that leads to your covered patio section. On this side of the patio, we decided to go with two swivel chairs, and on this side of the patio, we went with a big comfortable couch with a coffee table. We also provide a trash can just in case you have extra trash during your stay. At the top of the stairs, you come to another barn door that we also built, and behind it is a little closet that we made, and it just has a few hangers and extra pillows, extra sheets. And then if you move it, that will reveal our bathroom. So we just have a half bath up here, just a toilet and a little sink, but that's all you really need. And then over here, something that we really wanted to include was a record player. We love buying old records and listening to records, so we actually brought our personal stash here for our guests to enjoy. After you pass the bathroom in the record area, you come to the bedroom. Up here, we have a really simple setup with a queen bed and a nightstand on each side. We decided to go with green on the back wall to match our other accent colors. We also provide a curtain here, just in case you want a little bit more privacy because there is windows on the front of the house. So you hang this here if you want it. If not, you can just keep it right here. So that is our whole tour of our house. We're so glad that we got to share this experience with you and that we're gonna get to share it with our guests. Yep, it's been a long eight months, but it turned out better than we could ever imagine. So if you like this series, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you follow us on Instagram at Gage and Allie. Yep. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.